It is currently the 16th of September 2020, and while out here in the Atlantic, we have several named storm systems, including Sally, currently making landfall along the uh, Gulf Coast from Louisiana over towards Mississippi. We also have a tropical depression located just towards the west of the Philippines, continuing to spin up here, and actually, this is likely going to be called Knoll over the course of the next 24 hours. In fact, the Japan Meteorological Agency, for the first time, is putting a five-day forecast out on a tropical depression this is a brand new product i think it's long overdue but uh finally yes with tropical depressions they are putting out a five-day forecast kind of giving you, you know an extended forecast here when the storm is just developing instead of becoming a full-blown uh tropical system uh every other agency in the world does this so i'm happy they have jumped on board too considering they are the wmo out here in the western pacific but you can see that it does have these 50 knot winds just prior to landfall so they do expect it to become at least a severe tropical storm but one of the big issues really is just going to be the rain actually take a look at the gfs uh, forecast here going ahead through the next 72 up to about 96 hours you get to see that heavier precipitation here across central areas of Visayas, moving across the south china sea and then eventually in the central areas of vietnam basically north of da nang there uh that's where some areas i mean this is actually indicating the heaviest precipitation look at that upwards of eight to nine hundred millimeters of total rainfall now that's being picked up out over the water but it just gives you an idea of the uh overall potential of this so i do think flooding in central areas of the philippines is possible but more so as this starts to hit impact the mountains here in central vietnam over there towards laos as well if you are in the philippines you may be thinking well this is moving away from us why should i have to worry about as the rainfall well the big issue is yeah it is moving away but you see the center of circulation and there is that flow being pulled in on the southern part of it and even off here towards the east coast as well so even as it tracks away we still have that moisture flow coming around so uh you're not going to get the center of circulation or anything like that uh from this point on it did just track over the country but you still have that moisture flow coming around which thus increases the chance of uh, rainfall in that threat of flooding, especially here, as I mentioned, basically south of Manila, all the way across Visayas and Mindanao. Uh, you just have that flow that's going to continue to come on shore. So if you have a vacation to Cebu here in the next week, it's... Uh it's going to be a couple days of uh, some wet weather out there. But uh, yeah. All right. Well, anyways, this is the track from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Unlike J or JMA, they do have this becoming a typhoon just prior to landfall. They're usually typically more aggressive. So something to keep in mind, like I said, uh, south of Hanoi here, uh, moving on shore. Big issue is going to be these mountains right in here. That's going to increase that rainfall. But there even could be some, uh, if this forecast comes through, 70 knots. We got to have a Cat 1 type storm, uh, some coastal flooding down definitely uh even off there towards hainan as well there in southern china so you know a pretty big impact of a storm i think big issue is the wind field and just that moisture flow anyways if you guys got questions comments suggestions you know all that button stuff please let me know down in the comment box down below um or on the side or wherever it may be today i don't know anyways um I haven't put out a video in the last few days, by the way, too. Last week, um, I've been kind of limited, just uh, got a lot of stuff going on. I'm actually taking additional college classes uh, recently, so that keeps my time busy, work, and uh, just everything else as well. And plus, I'm on the other side of the world, so doing these tropical updates, I try to sneak them in. Uh, when I have time, I don't make money off them. They're a hobby, so hopefully uh, you guys do find them useful. That's really the only reason why I still do them. So many people give me positive feedback with them. So stay safe, guys. As always, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.